If you're having trouble with your internet running slow, I'm going to show you three different methods to check your true internet speed. Let's jump in. Now, first and foremost, in order to check your speed and make sure that you're getting what you should be, you need to know what your internet speed should be. And that will come from your internet provider. In my case, I have AT&T Fiber Internet 1000. And if we go to explore plans here, it'll show you a little bit more detail about it. So this is 1000 megabytes per second connection. So I should be getting a 1000. Now, the first method to check your internet speed is through your internet provider. So on their website, or if you have an app or something like that, you will be able to check the internet speed. Every website's going to be set up differently, but you can see here, as I'm looking through this website, it shows me my plans. It says, test your internet speed. So we're going to start speed test. So you click that button. And what I like about this is that on the internet provider, it's going to be able to show you what the actual speed is that you're getting from the internet provider, in my case, AT&T, to the gateway or the internet modem. And that's what they installed in my house to be able to provide the internet. That number should be the closest to what your internet speed is because that's what they base that on. So when I testing from AT&T to the gateway, my modem, it's 998 download and 905 upload. So that's pretty close to the 1000. Now what it's doing is it's sending a signal from my computer to the modem and seeing what it takes to get back. So we have the download speed of 159 and the upload speed of 51 megabytes. So you can see a big discrepancy from 1,000 to 159. Now, typically, I would say my speeds are around 300 and 200, somewhere in that range, which is my typical speed. But obviously, this is less than that, so there may be an issue. Now, the reason I like to check a couple of different methods is because you can compare them. The next method we're going to do is just through Google. So we're going to open up the web browser. And all you have to do is just Google speed test, OK? And you see within Google, it pops up as this option built right into Google. And you can run speed test here. So it's going to do a similar thing. It's going to run this test so you can see what you're getting. So we have download 188. So that's getting closer. And this is why we run multiple tests, because you know, some all of them are going to be a little different. So 25 megabytes per second upload it says it's a little bit faster there, right? So then the next test that we're going to do is through speed test by Ookla. Now this one I find to be the most accurate that seems to dial it in. And you can see here just by typing in speed test in the Google search browser, it is already popping up. So we can just click on this and it has a lot of different features. You could sign into an account, click go. And it's going to run the test here again, getting the numbers. You can see it kind of varies. The dial kind of goes back and forth a little bit until it kind of gets a good solid average. And then it's testing the upload speeds. Your download speeds are always going to be faster. It's always quicker to download to your device versus uploading. But it does give you those two numbers to kind of compare to. So this is pretty close to what we were getting on Google. We're going 175. 159, right? We're probably in the 160 range. Now, one of the easiest methods that helps 90% of the issues is to restart your equipment. And so you can see here with AT&T, there's a restart button directly on there. You hit there, it takes a couple of minutes, and it'll shut down all of your internet. Obviously, you won't be connected to the internet when you do that, so be aware of that. And then it'll boot that back up. I find that 90% of the time that fixes it. And I always recommend starting with that because if there's still an issue, then there's two other things I want you to try. One is to go through and disconnect or sign off of the internet of any of the devices that you don't need to be online. It may be a matter of just shutting those off if you're not using the internet features there. If you're still having an issue, I suggest calling your internet service provider and letting them check that on their end. Maybe they need to send out a technician. Maybe they need to uh, do some different stuff, but they can see if there's an issue with what's coming into your house. But there's a couple of ways to be able to check your internet speeds and to problem solve that. I hope this helped you out and I'll see you in the next video.